Well, we talked about explosions. We talked about water destroying cities, blowing up spaceships and ships at sea. Got to talk about Harry Potter if we're going to talk about effects, right? Because where would Harry Potter be without his magical wand? MPC is a big player in the visual effects community. Um, MPC delivered 325 shots for the final film in the franchise. Work included the epic final battle between Harry and Voldemort, CG environments, fire effects, the snake, Nagini, cute little snake, the giant's face replacements, stone knight, death eater armies, various wand effects, and even some horcrux destruction to top it all off. And why not? MPC worked on Harry Potter and the Deathly Howls Part 2 right from early pre-visualization and concept through to the very last shot, uh, which ended up actually being Voldemort's death. That was the last production shot that they worked on. Fittingly so. Sorry if you haven't seen it. Spoiler alert. This effect uh, evolved through several different styles before settling on the final version because basically that's the, it's the finale of like all eight of these films, right? Uh, so there's going to be lots of ideas on, on what he looks like when he's being destroyed, right? Which consists of flakes that kind of peel from a fully digital Voldemort, played by Ray Fiennes, uh, dispersing his body into the air above Hogwarts and being sent to the four corners of the earth along the breeze. Some shots here of the destruction sequence. Uh, sadly, that's the Quidditch Stadium going down. Uh, they're probably not going to need that anymore. Anyway, here is the shot that we talked about. Uh, the, the, the flaky work that's uh, coming off of him in the final sequence. And like I said, that's the cute little snake who played a pretty big role in the film as well. The stone knights that are there to protect the school, of course. The giants. Many explosions, fire effects going through, full CG environments, all kinds of good stuff like that. Let's end this section taking a look at some of the destruction of Hogwarts and the dispatchment of Voldemort himself. <laughs> 